For inexperienced investors, exchange-traded funds can be the best entry point into the stock market. Because a single fund carries a diverse assortment of companies, they are less expensive and often less risk than individual stocks. But that can quickly become tricky if you don't know how or where to begin. If you keep hearing that you can make money investing, but you haven't yet been brave enough already to buy your first share, you've come to the right place. Obviously, all viewers who already own shares and would like to know more about index funds are also welcome. In the next few minutes, you will learn step-by-step step what exchange-traded funds are and how you can easily and practically invest your money with them. In some cases, this is possible for as little as five US dollars per month. Besides, it is easier than you think. After watching this video, you will have no excuse not to try it. If you like our content, there's also no excuse not to invest five seconds of your time to subscribe to Ape Finance. You voted that you want to see more financial basics on this channel. So of course, you get that right now. An exchange traded fund, or ETF for short, is, as the name suggests, a fund that consists of many different shares, such as stocks. This allows access to a broad market in one single product. That makes ETFs easy for beginners to pick one and then accumulate on a monthly basis without having to think too much about it. BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, says that ETFs are a simple and powerful option for beginners and professional investors to achieve their goals. A broadly diversified ETF replicates the global economy. This means that you invest passively and will achieve the global market return without claiming to actively beat the market. In the MSCI All Country World Index, which is an example of the global stock market, this return has been almost 8% per year over the last 10 years. Using the American example S&P 500, which includes the 500 biggest US companies, the average return over 50 years has been 9.4% per year, which still equates to 5.4% real return every year after subtracting inflation. Did you know that in the last decade through December 2021, only 26% of all actively managed funds outperformed their index fund competitors. This also suggests that passive investing with the help of an ETF is a good decision. Shares of ETF are traded like stocks. They can be bought and sold whenever the markets are open. Convinced you're in the right place yet? So, let's get to how you will get your ETF in three simple steps. Number one, choose a broker to access the market. As a result of the severe competition among online brokers, costs are falling and service levels are increasing. Due to the high demand for online brokers, more new firms are entering the market to benefit from the increase in individual investors. This makes it easier than ever to find a cheap broker. It's best to find a company with a good name that you can trust. It's important to note that if your broker goes bankrupt, your ETF shares are still yours. This information is held in a specific document in most countries, so losing your shares is very unlikely, but still take the time to pick a credible broker. Nowadays, almost all online brokerages offer commission-free ETF trading, so it's no longer a big differentiation. However, not every broker is an appropriate place to buy and sell ETFs because of excessive account fees or a lack of a well-rounded feature set that extends beyond ETFs. In the next few seconds, we will introduce you to three brokers that are active in many countries and may be suitable for you. Interactive brokers platforms and tools provide helpful information for researching ETFs and are accessible. Also, their ETF scanner is a nice tool for examining financial data and market prices in many countries. Interactive Brokers is accessible in over 150 different markets throughout the world. Maybe they are a little complicated for beginners, but the choice of products is very large. Let's move on to our second proposal. Weeble's sleek design for desktop and mobile apps will appear to the mobile first generation of casual investors. They also feature zero commission and have no minimum balance requirement. However, its rather inadequate teaching content may leave absolute beginners stranded, and it lacks access to several standard asset classes. Still, the brokerage also provides an outstanding selection of tools for professional traders, 
but unfortunately, it grants access only to citizens from the United States, Brazil, Turkey, India, the Philippines, Japan, Malaysia, China, and Korea. If you live in Europe, Digiro may be a good option for you. The broker offers a simple interface with low fees and is present in 18 different countries in Europe. Investing in ETFs is very easy and free of charge. There are no annual fees and Digiro has over 2 million customers. Have you already decided on a broker? Congratulations! Let the other viewers know in the comments which broker you have chosen to make the decision for them even easier. Now, it's finally time to get down on how to find the ETF you want. Number 2. How to find the right ETF for you There are websites where you can search for ETFs to help you out with your research. We will link you some of them in the video description. Using Just ETF as an example, we will explain the most important things for you to look for. As you can see, for indices like the MSCI All Country World, there are different providers like iShares or SPDR. These differ in TER, which is an annual management cost of the fund, and fund size. It is best to look for a fund that is at least $50 million in size, because then the company that owns it makes enough profit from its fees to sustain itself. Another criteria is to look for the lowest TER possible. Now, if we click on the fund from iShares, we see more information like that the fund has been around since 2011, which is good. Also significant is the acronym ACC, which stands for accumulating. There are two categories of funds, accumulating ones like this that reinvest dividends automatically and funds that distribute dividends to you, usually every three months. Which you like better is up to you, but depending on the country you live in, it can make a difference tax-wise. Also, we find the ISIN number that we will use to find the ETF at our broker. If you're still watching, thank you so much for the support. It's worth it, because in the last step, we will show you how to finally buy your ETF. Number 3. Buy Your Fund Once you have sufficient money in your deposit, you can buy ETFs. For illustration, we will be purchasing our ETF using interactive brokers. The search option is accessible from the top right of the user interface. To begin with, you can enter the ISIN number or the name of any other ETF from which you wish to purchase shares, followed by Enter. The ETFs here are categorized as stocks. Occasionally, you will also see multiple exchanges. Here, we want the stock on the ARCA exchange. There are many exchanges worldwide where you can buy the same ETF. Normally, you want to buy your shares at an exchange in your country or at the one with the highest trading volume. Also, as a passive investor, your only concern should be the current price. You can disregard the remaining information. From there, you can specify your desired amount and the limit price. You can now choose your order type. When trading with a popular ETF, a market order can be used. A market order means the ETF will be bought right now for the actual price. When done, use the preview option to ensure all your entry is accurate and buy. Congratulations, you now have shares of your ETF. All you have to do is relax and be happy that you made it. Today we had a crash course for beginners, showing you what the most important points to start investing are. Being an investor can also feel bad at times when a stock market crash happens and your positions are in the red, but that makes it even more important to keep calm and investing only as much as you can while still sleeping peacefully, and most importantly, to go through with it for several years. If this video has helped you to finally start investing, we would be very happy about a subscription to our channel, Ape Finance. This way, we can reach our ambitious goal of 200 subscribers by the end of the year. If you want to get more financial basic knowledge, click here and become an expert. So, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.